Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Corey Rodriguez. <laughs> You know, people are looking at me like, that guy does not look like a Rodriguez. What is that? That is Corey Johnson right there. I was hungry on the way here tonight. I stopped at McDonald's. Ugh. I don't think anybody eats McDonald's nowadays, and when they're done eating it, they're like, that was delicious. <laughs> I don't care what fast food I get. If I order fries, I have to eat every french fry. Like, I get a little depressed when the fries start running out. I'm like, oh my God. I could be driving down the street and I start running out of fries and I'll be digging in the bag. And there'll be cars coming, I'll move the napkin like I know there was more fries in this bag. And finally I find that one little burnt piece of crunchy fry. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about right there, baby. Mm. Mm. I haven't driven in a while and, and bought fries, but the other day I was cleaning my car and I found some fries <laughs> in between the seat. And they look better than the day when I bought them. I was like, how do these fries look so good? How is there no bacteria on this fry? Do you know how unhealthy of a food you have to be for mold to be like, I don't eat that shit. Like, <laughs> you ever listen to Obama speak? He'll just say somebody's first name and then their profession and he'll make you think you know the person, right? He'll be speaking, he'll be like, uh, there was a woman from Kansas and her name was Tammy. Uh, Tammy was a teacher. Uh, Tammy students weren't able to do their homework because they couldn't afford pencils. Uh, we can't have that for the American people. <laughs> I trust animal shows. Why? Why do I trust animal shows? They'll be like, if there's a dog chasing you, don't run. Fuck that, run. <laughs> Never in the history of dog chases has there been a dog chasing somebody like, hur, hur, and the person stopped, and the dog was like, you're lucky you stopped. <laughs> I was at my friend's house and he has a pit bull. Whenever I go to his house, it's scary because he has a pit bull and he never locks his door because he has a pit bull. So you show up and it's just a screen door, screen at the top, metal at the bottom. I get to the door, the screen's all torn up. And I get to the door and I'm looking in, I'm like, oh, and the dog's just waiting for me like, Arr. And I get to the door, I'm like, yo, come let me in. He was like, the door's open, just come in. I was like, you should just come let me in, right? And then he said to me what guys say to other guys when you want to make them feel bad. He was like, stop acting like a little bitch and open the door. <laughs> I said, I feel like a little bitch right now. Why don't you come let me in? <laughs> and then he comes to the door like he's mad at me. He grabs the dog by the back of her collar and he's pulling her back by her collar and I can just hear her little feet hitting the floor like tuk -a, tuk -a, tuk -a. <laughs> And I'm trying to squeeze by the dog and he's just disrespecting me. The dog's like, hur, hur, and I'm like, oh. He was like, I hate when you come over. I was like, I hate when I come over too. <laughs> he's like, oh. He's like, you always act like a bitch. I said, I was born like that. I didn't care. I didn't care what he was saying. I was afraid. I was afraid. We get into his living room and he let the dog go. And he did something that people that own dogs do. This is the scariest shit in the world. We get in the living room, he lets the dog go. And he said, relax, relax. And just let the dog smell you. Oh. That is the most fear that I ever have, right? Because the dog never smells an area of your body you don't care about, right? The dog was like, he said, stop backing up. I said, I'm scared. <laughs> he said, the dog can smell fear. I said, well, he can definitely smell this pee running down my leg. Huh? I am Corey Rodriguez.